All right, we're back for video three for 3D text. This one, we're gonna go over little presets and some animation. My favorite. Yay, animation. Happy, happy, happy. Okay, get serious. All right, we're back. We're gonna go over a little animation here. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and scroll on over. We are gonna hide this. Let's go on into our node bin and press P for presets. Bring the presets on over. If this doesn't automatically come up, just go ahead and navigate to your, you know, I'm on 2021.1. We're going to go 3D text presets. Go ahead and jump on into there. And then if you want to just grab one of these presets and load that in, um, it doesn't show you anything. So if I hit space A, it actually kicked it in down here so we can find that down there. There we go. So this is just showing you how this is built. Um, it's got a 3D path to be able to animate this text down along. You can go ahead and manipulate things if you need to also. Um, 3D text, click on that, you can type in whatever you need it to be. I really uh, recommend the newbies out there to go ahead and bring in these presets, and kind of dissect them, see how they're built. A great way of learning how to, how to build animations inside Flame. All right, so one of my favorite things, animation. I'm gonna delete that off, I'm gonna hit space A to kind of bring this all back to life. Select that and unhide that it's showing all blown up because once i brought in that preset it actually turned my shading off so i'm going to turn the shading back on and now it's not all blown out and let's go over some animations here double click on your text we're going to go to transformation let's go to the beginning and then go into auto key you know this is all the normal stuff you got the position the rotation you can animate things to whatever you need them to be if you haven't already please click on the subscribe button let's go ahead and do something so you know kind of fun where it twirls in from nothing and and boings on in or something okay that'll be fun <laughs> so what kind of yeah that kind of would be kind of cool what's that now oh that'll be kind of cool okay so let's have it come in from the left going zero i'm gonna go click on here and type in plus 10 to advance 10 frames Gonna have my animations just kind of land at 100. Let's go minus 30. There we go. Actually, let's kind of do this too. Yeah, let's do like a 20. And then let's go back and do this minus 35. There we go. Now let's go to the second frame, uh, the keyframe of that by clicking on our little advance arrow we're going to click on this and do oh how about plus eight and then we'll just kind of go to 85 and then just do the opposite so minus 10 and how about a 15 on that and then go plus oh six or so go one 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 that'd be cool do how about five and then let's do minus 10 on that um, and then let's go, how about plus six again? And that's where it's going to all just f complete. So we'll just zero everything out. Let's just kind of play that and see what it looks like. Bonk, bonk, bonk. There we go. It looks all cartoony and stuff. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Bonk, 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 bonk. Okay. So that shows you how to create like a nice, fun, cartoony little thing. Say... Your client now says, hey, I want those to be staggered. You're like, oh, well, now I got to like, you know, s split the strings out and like all this, you know, all this crazy stuff or whatever. You know what? Autodesk has your back. Very, very easy. Go to time offset. Do a minus one. Watch this. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. How about if we do a minus two? No, no. Okay. What, what, what? Come out. Auto key. Go minus two. Go to the beginning. Bunk, 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 bunk. Look at that. Super, super cartoony look right there. Isn't that fun? Aw. Cartoon. Boing. All right. Cool. Another thing that I wanted to kind of go over, uh, I meant to actually mention this in the other video that we were talking about the string split. So 
we, we have the string split, and that's going to split out all the letters so you can resize things. One little tip of, of, of advice is get your transform animations in place and then go back and do a string split and do any resizing at that point. And it'll actually hold in your animation. Super cool. So let's go back and... Bunk, bunk, bunk. There we go. So all the animations are baked in. Now I don't have to manually animate things. So a little, a little pro tip there. Animate and then resize. Animate and then resize. Animate and resize. All right, everyone. That's that uh, tutorial series. A little, a little quickie and stuff. You know, I'm, I'm contemplating uh, creating another little, little mini series. Um, I was watching some of Andy Milkis's um, tutorials and interviews. I hope I didn't butcher your name, dude. Um, sorry if I did. Um, you can butcher mine. <laughs> um, so I was watching some of his stuff. He sat down with uh, with Joel Osis, and he walked through this McDonald's. What what was cool about that that spot is there's this transition going from this uh, going into this cup. Uh, the cup tra transitions into this uh, this beautiful Columbia Mountains, you know, picking picking uh, coffee beans and stuff. Um, and that tra transition is kind of like kind of going through clouds and stuff. And I was like, hey, that's really cool. And Joel had this this super super cool um, batch and action set up for that. And you know, most of the stuff I didn't even know what it was. Anyways, as I digress, so I was inspired to make that transition. Um, this transition here is kind of it. Um, you know, it, it kind of pushes through some clouds and then, you know, it's kind of like almost going through glass or something, kind of like in a Harry Potter movie when the camera's coming down, going through a window, you get this cool little <laughs> refraction thing or something. It's like super cool looking. So I was like, Hey, I want to kind of build something similar to that, but, um, you know, I'm really lazy. So I wanted to make it, you know, easy to do and quick. So my first build took about two hours and I wanted to, you know, get that down. So I, I got it down to like a 15 minute job or something. Um, and then, you know, I was thinking about going over that with you guys. Um, if you guys are interested in it, you know, I was able to really slim the nodes down. It's mostly just animating things. That's what kind of sold it for me. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know if you want me to do that tutorial series. Um, if you do, then I'll make it. All right, I really appreciate everyone that uh, has been, uh, you know, checking out these videos and subscribing. Uh, please, you know, if you if you can subscribe, that that gives me, you know, some inspiration to make more. And uh, once I hit like a thousand or something, then uh, you know, YouTube will actually let me monetize. Um, and that'll be kind of nice to make a little bit of extra, extra cash, cash money, cash money, cha-ching. Well, uh, maybe not, you know, I'll probably make like five bucks a month, but Hey, you know, five bucks, you know, is a, a Starbucks. That's cool. And that's all I want. You know, that's all I really want is a Starbucks.